can be such a scary shooting when you talk about things like bomb threats, warnings of possible shootings that that our local schools have faced a recent barrage of those kinds of threats that students and staff could be potential targets. And today schools in Estacada canceled after someone posted a threat on social media last night. Now a student is under arrest. Lisa Balick live in Estacada digging deeper into this and other threats at our schools. She joins us live. Lisa. Yeah, tracking down social media threats quickly is really a quite a challenge, but even just threats poses a lot of impact to students as well as staff and parents. No sign of students who are supposed to be in class. Classes canceled at the elementary, middle and high schools in Estacada. Families notified last night there would be no school after a threat was posted on social media, spotted by students on Instagram. Parents then notified district leaders. The Clackamas County Sheriff's detectives traced the post to a high school student and arrested them, charging them with disorderly conduct. I wanted to know more about why all schools were closed. We've got a couple of factors that weighed into this decision to close school. Was one that the source of the threat was local, which makes us take it very seriously. And then additionally, the pace that the investigation was going at by 10 p.m. yesterday evening when we made the decision to close school, we still weren't at a point in the investigation where we felt comfortable knowing how serious and credible the threat was. This makes the third school related threat in the past couple of weeks in the area. A shooting threat posted on Snapchat two weeks ago, along with an unrelated bomb and shooting emailed threat, forced the Hazelbrook Middle School in Tualatin to send students home shortly after they arrived. Police arrested a student for the Snapchat threat. Earlier this week, Kaiser police arrested a 13-year-old for allegedly threatening to shoot up Claggett Middle School. School districts tell me they're seeing an increase in copycat threats. The FBI tells me they get involved when asked to by local law officers. I think local law enforcement does a really good job of resolving those threats, and a lot of the schools have school resource officers that uh, serve as an asset in, in addressing those kinds of threats. But when someone does say that it's a bomb threat, it is also a violation of federal law and we can be involved. Even when the threats are not credible, they still have an effect. Threats are communicated to harass, intimidate, annoy, disrupt. That's the purpose of the threat. And when it does that, it's accomplished the objective, right, of the, the sender of that message. Unsettling for everyone, no doubt about it. Now, school will be back in session here in Estacada tomorrow. That's what school leaders tell me. One other thing everyone I talked to said today, if you see something, report it. They say, look, even if you don't think it's credible, you may think it's kind of funny. They say, look, please report these threats because it's the only way they can track them down. Live in Estacada, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News. Good information. Thanks, Lisa.